Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Fist of Awesome because what a better way to uh, spend your Independence Day here than uh, punching a bear in the mouth, right? Who could want more? Anyways, this is a game, it was already on Ouya, iOS, and Android, but now it's on Steam for PC and Mac. It is $6.79 for the opening week sale and $8 after that. And the developer is I Fight Bears, but let's go ahead and jump right in here. I'm going to jump in on easy, even though I already beat it on easy. Uh, it is not particularly easy, so uh, we're also going to stop saying easy now because easy, 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 easy. Anyways, uh, here we are. We're Tim Burr. This is the present day. Hi, everybody. I'm so glad you can make it. We're going to party like it's 1969. Oh, yeah. What's that noise? Things are about to get a little crazy. Uh, yeah, basically, my house, my family. What in the name of John Bon Jovi is going on? Whoa, my hand feels odd. The universe needs you, Timber. Ah, my hand is alive. Stop shouting. Ah! Shut up, Timber. Listen to me. Earth's history has been compromised. Everything you know never happened. The timeline must be restored. Who the Hollow Notes are you? Why, I'm the mighty fist of awesome. Will you help me, Timber? I guess so. Great, I'm taking control of your nervous system. Woo, alright. So, what we've got here is basically a side scrolling beat em up in the style of something like um, Golden Axe or like Streets of Rage, you know, something like that. So, I'm gonna skip through the rest of the dialogue here. And we're gonna get into some gameplay. Ooh, wow, I'm getting my kicked already um, for the most part okay so what's gonna be interesting here is that I am actually holding out my stats and we'll get into stats at the end of the first level but we actually level up as we play but I get to keep my stats through kind of like further playthroughs, so uh, that's why we're like killing these guys so fast and doing so much damage. But anyways, um, yeah, so there, there are things that I like about this. There are actually a lot of things I like. And then there are a couple things that I don't like so much. Uh, I think I want to just kind of get the negative stuff out of the way here so we can kind of get into the things that I like about the game. Um, the the only really big negatives I have are that it's it's pretty repetitive, right? I, I beat the game on easy mode, and, and there's more to the game than just this mode that I will show off here. Uh, we're going to do a level or two, maybe, of this mode, and then I want to show off a little bit of the arena. But it took maybe an hour, hour and a half, somewhere around there. It wasn't extremely long, but like you saw, there are two more difficulties for people who are a little better at brawlers than I am. Um, but still, uh, it, for how long it was, it's really repetitive. You are seeing the second type of enemy, and this is the last type of enemy. Um, everything else is just like a reskin, so we've got like these deer here, then we're gonna have all kinds of bears that act basically the same way as the deer do, and then we're gonna have those, you saw the big bear there, and the big bear is basically the boss of each level, and we're gonna have a different big bear at the end of each level. Um, but it, it's kind of like a little grating that, you know, we, we really only have two types of enemies. So like you'll see, uh, and those slowdowns there were on purpose. Um, although I have found a little bit of like performance issues in the game. Not too bad, but I've had like the occasional kind of dip in FPS, stuff like that. Uh, that being said, I am playing, I think it's a beta build, so it uh, could be different from the, the final release. Besides, it um, could easily be patched and fixed here. Uh, anytime we see the green arrows, we can go up for some funny dialogue. And that is something that I really do like about the game, is uh, it's got a very humorous kind of style to it. Um, the other thing that I was going to point out as kind of a negative is, in my opinion, um, there isn't really enough of a move set to make the combat super interesting. So we've got our regular punches, right? I can also kick, and from the kick you can 
let me demonstrate here, you can grab and punch, or you can throw. And then we can stomp. And we've also got a jump kick, and that's it. And we never, like, really gain abilities, as far as I can tell. Uh, at least I certainly didn't in my playthrough. So, you know, the combat gets to feel pretty repetitive as well. That being said, I'm pretty sure this was a game designed for mobile, and I'm not saying that as a negative at all, but uh, it's meant to kind of be sort of a, a small, kind of tightly knit experience. And that is something that I'm actually really glad about. Like, um, I've mentioned it before in some of my other videos, but lately I have really kind of become fond of. of Kind of shorter experiences. If you can get your your idea across to me in, you know, anywhere between like one and, and four hours or so, that's like perfect because I just don't, I always have the time to play like a big long game. So for me, it was nice to be able to sit down, play this for an hour, and uh, just experience the whole thing, even though it was a little bit repetitive. I'll, I'll take like a repetitive hour over a repetitive ten hours, that's for sure. So... Uh, it, it doesn't overstate its welcome, I guess, is what I'm getting at with that. Um, yeah, that's really all the negative stuff, though. So I think uh, from here on out, everything else is positive. I did want to just get that out of the way, so we can move on to the stuff that I like. So uh, I think the biggest thing that I like is the art style. Like, It's got a really great art style to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, idiot human, you looking for trouble? Me? Nope. Nothing. Uh, no trouble here. Thanks, though. This is our turf. You must pay tax. That seems fair. It's your turf, after all. Tax is ripping, beating heart from chest. So, yeah, we've got uh, Afro Bear here that we got to fight. And, you know, like I said, two types of enemies, which, again, that's, like, a little unfortunate, but... That being said, uh, it is a, a pretty fun brawler, and I'm not normally a fan of brawlers, so the fact that it sold me at all um, is is pretty nice. Like I, I was not expecting to have as much fun with this one as I did, but I think one of the things that that's really helping this game along is like the really awesome art style, and then just like the level of humor that's in the game. I actually want to go back. I want to show some off, uh, show off some of the arena now. I'm going to go ahead and play as this character. You can play as basically every character. So the way this works is um, basically we we go in here with like uh, if you played Lutherazers this might look kind of familiar seeing like these goals and that's basically what it is. We've got like a minute or two minutes in some levels to basically complete a certain amount of goals. <clears throat> so we need to finish four enemies with a back kick. That is not going to be easy. Oh, I could finish two enemies with a jump kick though. Yeah, I don't think that'll be hard at all. Okay. Although we might run out of time here. Hope, oh gosh, I'm hoping that's not the case. But yeah, basically what's going to happen with these is that we're going to, you know, try and finish any of these objectives. And, you know, with objectives we can level up even more. Uh, this mode gives us the opportunity to play as different characters, things like that. So, in my opinion, this mode is kind of more interesting even than, like, the main story mode. <clears throat> Which is a little unfortunate, I guess, because I think it's supposed to be kind of secondary to the main story mode. Let's go play as... Oh, yeah, we could play as a, a dinosaur. Basically, these are all the characters that we'll see throughout the game. I want to play as one of these big bears, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. I think that our... Um, I think that our goals are somewhat randomly generated. I'm not totally sure. Again, yeah, you're probably seeing here some of that dip in FPS that I was talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so, you know, I think, like I said, the art style, I think, looks really good. Everything is it's kind of, uh, it reminds me of, like, McPixel. If you played that game, it's got kind of that kind of style to it. It's a little bit minimalist, and I, I like that a lot. 
Um, the animations look really good, I think, as well. And I think that's really one of the, for me, like one of the biggest selling points for the game. Oh yeah, I did not do so hot there. Uh, and then the last thing I want to mention is that the the music is also really good. I actually really like the soundtrack in this, and I've uh, you know I've gotten a kick out of out of listening to um, a lot of the sound effects and the soundtrack as a whole. Actually, uh, I am just skipping a lot of the kind of secondary dialogue to the game, but. You know, if you if you read through all those signs and stuff, you'll get some good laughs. There's there's a lot of funny stuff going on in the game, and that's another really really strong point. I know I mentioned it already, but um, the humor really helps sell the game for me because I think that's part of the reason I was never really into brawlers. Is just that you know the stories were always so kind of they're trying to be serious, but they weren't doing a very good job of it. This game is more like, we're not even going to try and be serious, we are just going to have a good time. You can kick bears in the nuts, you can punch bears in the mouth, and that's that's what we're going to do. And I'm totally down with that, that makes for a really good time in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I think this is probably a pretty good kind of summary of my thoughts here. Uh, overall, I think it's, it's really good, I think it's definitely worth picking up. Uh, as long as you understand going into it that it is a little repetitive and there just isn't really like a lot of variety in enemies and moves, but I think everything else is very good. If you're looking for just kind of a, a fun brawler to play through that'll make you laugh, I think this is a, a good choice. I think it's a good pickup and I think that you will enjoy your time with it. So, um, I will have a link in the description to the Steam page if you'd like to pick it up. But like I said, it's also on Ouya and mobile platforms as well, so if you'd rather play on your phone or your tablet, uh, I would just suggest searching for Fist, Fist of Awesome on the iOS or Android store. But with that, I think that is where we will wrap up. So, as always, feel free to leave comments. If there's anything that you would like to comment about, subscribe to the channel to see more videos from me every single day. And, of course, if you like the video, then please do consider clicking the like button. But with that, I thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time.